New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today's tool is gonna to be kind of interesting just because this is a little bit different than the standard bore scope that we're used to looking at. I did reach out to Deerfo and ask them to send me this tool and they did so that I can share it with you guys. And as you know, the only reason I would ask a manufacturer to send me something is because I thought it was unique and this particular one has an articulating end. I thought that was cool. Right out of the box, you have a nice case. It is a zipper case, a semi-hard shelled case. That'll protect it. You have the unit itself, which is nested in a nice spot. It's not gonna move on you when you're transporting it. It does come with a USB-C cable and you're going to get the manual. The screen size is 4.3 inches, so it does have a decently sized screen. The camera diameter is six millimeter. Total cord length for that camera is 1.5 meter. It does have an IP67 waterproof rating and the continuous runtime is 3.5 hours on a charged battery. Located on the side, you're gonna find a rubber cover. When you remove that rubber cover, you're gonna see the USB-C charging port, a reset button, and a place for a memory card, which is also included. Located across the bottom of the screen is a series of buttons. Now, some of these buttons are kind of quick access buttons. This particular button controls the light that's on the end of the camera. There is a quick picture button right here. If you need to take a picture, you can press this and take a very fast snapshot. That'll store it to the memory card. And then located on the side is a very large knob. And this particular knob is what controls the articulation of the camera. When I rotate this knob, I can get that camera to flex left and right. I can actually get it to look back on itself, which is amazing. I will add that I'm pretty impressed with how clear this screen is. It's one of the better screens we've seen on endoscopes, at least on this channel. And the focal point of the camera is pretty amazing. As you can see, we can actually see the fabric on the case itself. I think a really good test would be to take a look inside this gas can and see if we can find any rust in the bottom of it. Now, if you notice down here on the bottom of the screen, I'm gonna go ahead and press the M button. This is the mode button. I'm gonna turn it on to video so that we can see how well this records. I'm gonna press the start button down here where my thumb is. It is now recording to that memory card. We're gonna take a look inside this can and see what we can find. Now, I'm looking at the side of the can. I'm gonna take this knob and rotate it. And you can see we are rotating around. And so far I don't see any rust in this can. And I'm just rotating that knob, which is actually rotating the camera for us. We're taking a really good look at the seam. It looks a little dirty, but overall it looks really good. If I hold real still, you can see the details. Not bad, it's doing a pretty good job. Another little fun test that I like to do is to take a look inside my air compressor. I'm gonna take my thumb and articulate that camera just a little bit so we can see around. And you can watch me move my thumb because that's how you articulate the camera. So you can see the oil in the bottom. If I rotate it all the way back up, I can start to see other things inside my air compressor. Right now we're looking straight up. We can see all kinds of detail inside the compressor. I see a little bit of rust in there too. So yes, it's working pretty well. I really like it. So what are my final thoughts? Well, I really like it. I love the case. I love the large screen. I love how easy it is to operate. There are lots of features, features I didn't even get to go into because it'd be too much for one video, but you can even flip and rotate the screen if you'd like. There are multiple light levels. You can make it really dim or you can make it really bright. But really where it shines is the quality of the camera and its focusing capabilities is really good. The fact that you can articulate and rotate this camera to get a really good look at things and even take a look back up on what you've just shoved the camera through is outstanding. From my experience, the features that this has and what you can do with it is an outstanding tool to have on hand. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.